Hi, welcome to my seventh tutorial on Erlang. Today I'll be talking about case statements, but this time using pattern matching and tuples. So let's get started. We're going to create the same area function like we did last time, but this time just using the pattern matching. by r squared which is radius squared okay areas or triangle We have in well in our either way or well, nm whatever variable you want to use well best you use base by height b so that'll be f which is zero point five b And now, this is to throw any errors if none of the patterns match. So, so we return error. We're using an atom, so error invalid. That's the end of the function. Save and don't forget to add the new area. So it's area it takes in one parameter, which is the topple. Mm. Yeah, yeah. All right. Maybe we should make it a small letter. Square. So cool. Triangle. Save. Now the top, the atoms. Top. So atoms. Square, circle, triangle, and the rest, which is invalid. So we save. We open up our. We we'll run as Erlang application. First thing we have to do is change directory to the location of the easy file. And we compile easy. Perfect. Now let's test our new area file, which is area, which is easy area. Um, square and five. Perfect. Now to test the final part, which is easy area, and let's put in an empty top. invalid object. Thanks for turning in today. See you next time.